Hello, in this video we're going to look at a production function. From it we're going to create a profit function, get the first order condition. We're also going to drive the factor demand and then eventually we're going to take the derivative of the profit function with respect to the wage. Here's the firm's production function. Q is the quantity of output, L is units of labor. The price of the output good P is $10 and the price of labor we're going to just set at W. What is the demand for labor? and what is the derivative of the profit function with respect to the wage. Let's create our profit function. Price times quantity is revenue and we we'll subtract out the cost here. We're only looking at variable costs, the wage times units of labor. For P we're plugging in the ten dollars and for Q we're plugging in 40 L minus L squared and then again we're subtracting our variable costs. We're ignoring fixed costs. So simplifying our profit function a little bit and now taking a derivative of it with respect to L. We get that the following result. We're maximizing, so we're going to set it equal to zero. And we're going to solve for L, and that'll be our demand for labor, our factor demand. So dividing through by 20, that is our labor demand. L equals 20 minus W divided by 20. Our next step is to take the derivative of the profit function with respect to the wage. So here again is our profit function, and note here our factor demand, L equals 20 minus W divided by 20. So we're going to make a substitution in our profit function where we have L, we're going to plug in 20 minus W divided by 20. Making that substitution, just rewriting that again, and now taking the derivative of this profit function with respect to the wage. A little messy, but we get back this result right here and that'll simplify a little bit to this simplifying some more get this result and you'll notice here that the demand for labor equals minus the derivative of the profit function with respect to the wage so minus this result right here is what we saw earlier for the factor demand for labor 20 minus w divided by 20. okay that's it